I got my water, baby, it's so good and it's so cold And I'm not tuned in to the Sounds World Show Make sure that you subscribe, like, share, and you can comment too I wanna give a shout out to all the Sammy Boo Sam's World, 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 Sam, I am on the camp. We both in the hill, both in the hill. Y'all look, y'all see this big old bird. Hmm. But guess what? We're not alone. Who could it be? Who could it be? I got my baby. I got my water baby. I got my baby. I got my water baby. I got my baby. Hey, she is so good and calm. And I thought I fixed my eyelash, but I must not have. So if you're looking through the video, it's okay. But anyway. Alright, I feel like it's crooked, but anyway, y'all, listen, if you are new to my channel, please go ahead on, hit that subscribe button, and the bell, yep, the bell, so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video, and then what? Boom, straight to your phone, baby, straight to y'all, hello, listen, I'm ready to eat y'all, y'all see what we eating, we got us a rotisserie chicken, let's buy a little baby medium, maybe a medium, and a big large one. Like I like them, okay. And I got me some B-Love sauce we're going to be dipping in. I got me some cucumbers and peppers down there. Y'all, it's about to go down so we can what? Get to eat. So I'm going to go ahead on. Say my grace so we can what? Get to eat. <laughs> Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for this food I'm about to receive for the nourishment of my body. And Lord, please bless the less fortunate. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 And I'm hot. But I didn't want to cut my fan on too fast because I didn't want it to be blowing my, um, you know, blowing my food, blowing my sauce cold. But y'all, listen, are y'all still drinking y'all water also? I hope you are. I'm still drinking mine. Even though I told y'all on the other one. No, I'm not saying I have completely drunk all water, but what I am saying is incorporate some water into your diet, okay? Rather, I drink as much as you can. Mmm. You know when you put them back in the oven, how they burn up a little bit. I like that. Get a little tough. I like that. Y'all, I got a little towel back here because I don't want all this juice. This is my family union shirt. I don't want all the juice on my family union shirt. Okay. Mm. How my family booze doing though? I hope everybody is doing good. I want some crystal on here too. Oh, shoot. Woo. Come through crystal. Yes, come through crystal. Give me some crystal fry. It's some plain butter down here in this one, y'all. This one, I didn't put a whole lot of butter, y'all might not believe, but I did not. It's probably one stick of butter in that whole thing. That's beloved sauce with I added some onions, some minced onions, some garlic powder, onion powder and stuff like that. Water, uh, chicken broth. It's only like, if it's a whole stick of butter, it's just one. But what I was saying was, well, I've been drinking my water, but if I want me an ice or I want me a, a diet soda, I drink that. I, what I'm trying to tell y'all is just drink more water. I didn't say you just only drink water, okay? I can't tell you what to do no way, right? <laughs> mm. Mm. All right.
I had to prime that up because I knew I had one. <laughs> Yeah, this is the coconut pineapple ice. Sparkling ice. Oh, it's so good. But y'all, we still got a let's talk about it. Hey, a let's talk about it. We're going to talk about it, too. Mm, that's good. I left my pickles. That's what I left. It's okay. I got plenty enough food in here. And it's plenty hot, too. Shoot, my fingers about to pull oh, they hot. Y'all want some? Take a bite first, cuz. After this, it's going, I'm going in. But it's too hot. This is B Love's mouth sauce, also, y'all. That's why mine look a little bit thicker too, y'all. Because it's less butter and more stuff. You know, like more onions and more seasonings. I didn't want it full, full, full of butter, you know. So hot. What y'all been doing though, Sammy Boo? I ain't been doing nothing chilling. Tried to get back to the grocery store. Me and Jordan went to the grocery store earlier today. Got him some stuff for lunch so he can take the lunch, bought him a lunch box. So he can keep his stuff in. Bought him some drinks, Gatorades and stuff. Well, I'm proud of that boy, y'all. Mmm. He come home from work. He get a shower. He lay down to about one o'clock. He get up and mess around a little while. So he have to leave for work at seven thirty. So he get up about one, move around a little bit, then he lay back down about four thirty five. It's amazing to look at. That let me know he was looking, honey. He seen how his mama was a hustler, honey. And she got out there and got it. He don't sit around and wait on nobody. And I'm proud of him for that. I'm proud of all my kids for that. They get out there and they look. They try to find them jobs. It just amazes me how old Jordan, how old Jordan is. Mm. Alright, it's come too late. <clears throat> oh, the leg falling off. Look, y'all. Well, I don't want to burn my mouth out. Like, it's going to fall before I get my mouth anyway. Take a bite. Mm. <laughs> Clean that bottom dinner. Mm, it's 
look good, y'all. <laughs> Come on through him. This is so delectable, honey. Mm. Good too. The plain butter good too. Mm -mm. I definitely can't pick no thigh but eat it by itself. And when I say eat it by itself, I mean blindly. As far as like biting into a fat. Mm -mm. When I was young, I used to like the white meat because it was big and I was greedy. But as I, I've gotten older, I like the brown meat, um, dark meat, it's in brown. Because it's more tender to me. The white meat is, th is dry. But the leg, the wing ain't dry. Just the breast. As y'all know, I can tap some wings now. Mm. Both of them good, y'all. The be little sauce and the butter. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, that food is the bomb. But I'm going to go ahead on and get my let's talk about it out. So we can get it going. Mm. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. It looked like they just signed that bill for that cover relief too, y'all. Looking at my phone. That's gonna help a lot of people. And I think they should have been past that bill to help people. You know what I'm saying? Like this is United States and we should they should help us. You know what I'm saying? People had to go lose their jobs, families lose their jobs, but the big people up there where they have to do the tales worry about themselves only because they haven't lost anything. You understand? A lot of them haven't lost family members for when they haven't lost nothing to see what it, what it, what happens or what what is doing to people out here. People that lost their whole everything, everything they had to move out of homes, no lights, no water, no food, and they talking about. They keep switching up and waiting and waiting and waiting. And child, you know people they relief. Mm. It's sad. But they got all these things and about the big companies that don't even really need it, honey. Small businesses that lost so much, had to close down. Families couldn't work. They just think about themselves. That's what I think. Mm. 
Mm. We're supposed to be let's talk about it, honey. That's what I just got. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Y'all ready to talk about it now? Let's talk about it. Hey, let's talk about it. Baby, let's talk about it. I'm going to put the fan on me while I be together. All right, y'all ready? Here we go. I'm a 44-year-old mother, and I allowed my 24-year-old son to move back home at the college. I'd hoped that he would find a great job and get his own place, but he wasn't so lucky. So I told him he could come home temporarily. My house rules are the same as when he was in high school. He's expected to keep his house clean and the lawn looking good in exchange for housing. Our bedrooms are on the opposite side of our condo, so I rarely see him because of our work schedules and social life. He has had the same girlfriend for two years, but since he's back home, he started seeing a lot of other women. I told him I don't like it, and I don't want any mad female showing up at my house. I was doing laundry recently, so I went to his side of the condo. I peeked in his room, and it, and it was a mess. Do you hear me? There was some lube and condom wrappers on his nightstand, and I knew darn well he was not having sex in my house. Baby, yes he was. That night I stayed up a lot later than I usually could so I could spy on him. Around 1 a.m. he came in tiptoeing in my house with a girl and they went in his room. I waited a minute until I figured they were having sex and I started banging on his door. I could hear him tell her to hush and I started yelling. The girl got out right in time because I went off on him. I told him he could not use my house as a bachelor pad and it was time for him to go. I told him to burn his sheets and clean his entire room. He pleaded with me to give him another chance because he has not he is not financially able to rent pay rent. He said He said I'm being too unreasonable. How should I handle this grown man and doing grown things in my house? Sammy Boo, she said, what? Give her some advice on that. Let me take a what? Big bite on that right quick. This little piece of this neck. <laughs> so, Sammy Boo. Her son then got out of high school, got out of college. There ain't no high school. Got out of college and came home to live with her. And honey, he loose with it. Now they bring women in left and right. You know, at a bachelorette, that's only what I could expect. Him to bring in different women in at different times. Having condoms, so that means he's having sex in, in his room on his end of the house. And ain't paying a dime to live there. Huh? What you say? No, he ain't paying a dime. All he doing is handiwork, as you might well say, right? He keeping his room clean, keeping his house clean, and keeping the outside done, the yard and stuff. Mm-mm. Not happening. <clears throat> Not happening. No, boy went down the wrong way. Not happening. He should be more respectful. Even if he was doing something like that, where the sneaking part come in there? You know what I'm saying? When your mama house, you know you don't want her to know what you're doing. You don't know if she ever might come in that room and you leave uh, condom wrappers and stuff out. No respect at all, young man. None whatsoever. And God, no. Mm -mm. Not in my house. So, to sum it up, just to say this, I'll jump. No, she ain't wrong. She not wrong at all for her rules, because it's her house. She paid the bills that know it's her house. And like I say, he got to be more respectful. Y'all know I got grown boys. Y'all know what I mean. And my, my son come pay the visit with his girlfriend. I know we're a little bit more lenient than what I... The children today, like us moms... Well, the moms today, some of us, 
are much more lenient than like my mom and their mom was. And uh, we couldn't even have nobody in our room, period. Period. You visited in the living room at my mama's house. Your boyfriend's living in, in the living room. If you came home to visit and you wasn't married and lived out of town, you did not sleep in the same room. Mm -mm. No, you didn't sleep in the same room at my mama's house. Oh, no, ma'am. Mm -mm. So, they were so much different than us. But, like, when my kids come, I know they, they got a girlfriend. I don't stop them from sleeping in the same room. But I talk to them and tell them, look here. Respect my house, him. That's what I tell my kids. That's all I say. Respect my house. And I smile. Respect my house now, okay? Y'all hear me? Do you hear me? That's how I talk to mine. They be like, yes, man. I, 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 but do you hear me? And they be like, yes, ma'am. Because they know exactly what I mean without having to say, you better not have sex in my house. Period. Ain't nobody doing that. That's so good. <clears throat> she paying all the bills. It's her right to say what goes on in that house and what, what don't go on. It would sort of kind of be different if they were roommates. You understand? Same um, mom single, son, you know, then went off to college and came back and got nowhere to stay. They got this house together, apartment house, whatever it is, together. They're doing their parts equally. It's not just mom's house. Do you understand? That's what I'm trying to say. It's not, it didn't start off as mom's house and the child lived there. Child went to school. No. They came in together as mom and son, but it's a joint hours. Then she can have nothing to say about what go on in the house. But as long as she paying them bills and paying, putting the roof over their head, baby, she can say whatever she wants. She paid the cost to be the boss up in that joint. I promise you that. And I'm the same way by mine. We pay the cost to be the boss. If you don't like the rules, baby, it's plenty of hotel, Motel 6. They keep the light on for you, honey. You can go right on over there and see about them, honey. Because you ain't getting down there dirty in here. Ain't nobody getting down dirty in here and spread eagle but me, honey. Huh? And I ain't doing that, though, huh? Get your hips on through. <laughs> you never know what they do, even even when you say that though. But it's a respect thing to me, and why he didn't go ahead, went on head on, and got rid of the evidence at least. He could get at least get rid of the evidence. What y'all think, Sammy Booth? And then if he did have friends, it wasn't going to be no in and out, this and that, this and that. He should have respect, like I said, to go get a hotel room. Because I think it's disrespectful to have sex in the house with your mom, honey. It is. Mmm. Oh, that water good. But y'all get where I'm coming from, Sammy Booz. He 24 years old. Well, ain't nobody, can't nobody stop him from doing what he do, but, ain't, but, the, but the, the location? Yeah. He can stop that plenty good. She can definitely stop that location, baby. What a thing. Oh. She definitely can stop that location, baby. That, that, that location. You feel me? Had to let that cool off a little bit. Hey, but I'll damn my face. Woo, I done drunk too much water. But yeah, y'all. She is not wrong. That's her territory. He got to have more respect. And wait. Or whatever he got to do. 
do it somewhere else, not at her house. And then he need to clean that damn room up. So I'm gonna be cussing all over that house. I come in that room and see that. <laughs> I'll be raising Kane. You hear me? So wood. Oh, it's the old people say, Raising Kane here. But at the end of the day, like I said, no, she ain't wrong. And that's down in that same room. Mmm. good. Salmon boo, that was delicious. I can take my beer about now. That's enough chicken for me. I ate good. This time I ate a whole half a bread. Really, this is the only piece left. Y'all know I'll never eat my chicken like that. Does and does. Y'all know I'll eat no chicken like that. I did great good, good today. But listen, y'all, I love y'all so much. Listen, if you haven't already, go please go ahead on over to Sam Unleashed. It will be the first comment down below in the comments. It's always going to be pinned because it's in my description box, but it only works for the people who have computers in the description box. If you're on your phone, uh, you can get to the next channel from the comment. Okay, go... Uh, Subscribe to Sam Unleashed, honey. I don't know what I just happened just now. Like I lost my train of thought. I'm hot. I need to just go in there and cut my arm. Have y'all cut y'all arm on yet? I didn't cut my arm, child. It's been hot for the last two days. I wonder if that's it. If we, you know, we got our little cold spell. I wonder if that's it. And guys, that stimulus check on the way for everybody who need it. Lord, I thank you. All they do doing now is waiting on buying the sign it. I'm thankful for everybody who will be able to have something with it. You know, it's crazy how long they done waited for that. And people, the people won't pass, wouldn't pass it and kept wanting to change, just change it. That's like I said, that's because they not wanting for nothing. They ain't hurting out here. They ain't missed a beat since this pandemic hit. They ain't missed a, they ain't missed a light bill, water bill. They ain't missed no food. They ain't missed nothing. So they not worried, but they don't care about us. They don't care about us out here. I thank God I haven't had to, you know, rely on nobody or ask nobody for nothing. I thank God for that. But I, that ain't saying I'm, I, uh, other people have it and I don't feel for them. That's crazy. That's just crazy. But y'all, I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna get out y'all way. Listen, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And until next time, bye-bye. Right on, Malone. I hope that light right. I just looked up. I ain't got no look up overhead light. I'm oh, crazy. Put my hot sauce up. I'm full of tick. I'm about to pop. That was a lot of chicken today. My beloved sauce was delicious. It was too hot. I stopped eating. Too hot. What y'all doing the rest of this day? I gotta go ahead and edit right quick. Get this video out today. I waited till late. I, me and Joy went out early and then I got back. It is 3 o'clock right now. Hopefully, this video will be out at, uh, what, 5. I'm finna go edit it right fast. I love y'all, Sammy Boots. Peace out. Y'all pray for me. That If you see this part, that means the video was up there when I got finished, honey. It was up and it was stuck, honey. Because y'all know what happened to me yesterday. So pray for me. Did y'all see me right now? Peace out. Good. See. Get my 
Vai o Leão. I want to welcome y'all to the Sam World Show Make sure that you subscribe, like, share, you can comment too I want to give a shout out to all the Sammy Boo Subscribe, like, share, and you can comment too I want to give a shout out to all the Sammy hey, Boo And I'm a baby, I got my water baby I got my baby, I got my water baby I got my baby